Hey, crypto traders! Thanks for tuning in to the Crypto Portal, a podcast series where we summarize current events so that you can stay sharp at what's happening. Last week, Elon Musk has spoken again at an online conference known as the B Word, and like always, markets reacted to his remarks. Speaking of markets, we also bring you updates on the EU, China, and El Salvador. Without further ado, let's begin. First up, news on crypto. The stablecoin project USDC has released its capital verification report of May, which shows that 61% of its assets are mostly cash, while 25% are in deposits and U.S. Treasury. Jeremy Alter, the CEO of Circle and the mastermind behind USDC, said USDC would be the most public, transparent, and fully reserved stablecoin project worldwide. And as mentioned earlier, last week at the B Word conference, Elon Musk re-emphasized that he is a supporter of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, and he currently holds position in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin. Musk has also reiterated that Tesla might accept Bitcoin payments again in the future as Bitcoin mining shifted to clean energy. The B Word conference is a summit for all things Bitcoin. Speakers included Jack Dorsey and Kathy Wood, the CEO of Twitter and CEO of Ark Invest, respectively. According to CB Insight, a business analytics platform, cryptocurrency companies have raised a record of four billion in venture capital during the second quarter of 2021, while fintech firms saw a record of 30.8 billion, a 29% year-on-year increase. Next up, news on fintech. Robinhood, a US-based trading service provider, has reached a settlement with the NY State Department of Financial Services regarding the issues related to cybersecurity and anti-money laundering rules. The settlement is $35 million in fines, which Robinhood has agreed to pay. Global X, an ETF provider, has submitted filing for a Bitcoin ETF with the SEC. The ETF named Global X Bitcoin Trust will be listed on the CBOE BCX exchange. Now to global news. The European Commission for Financial Services intends to fight money laundering in cryptocurrency. One of their proposals directly bans anonymous crypto wallets to make sure the crypto asset transfers are traceable. Once implemented, service providers must collect information including customers' names, addresses, account number, etc. The People's Bank of China published a white paper for the ECNY or Digital Yuan revealing the development of ECNY for the first time. The paper includes a detailed explanation on the current status, objectives, and possible outcomes. El Salvador is planning to issue its own stablecoin, which is currently simply referenced as the Colón dollar. However, according to current research, about 77% of the population are against the Bitcoin law, claiming that many remitters and merchants prefer US dollars to Bitcoin. And this concludes our podcast. Thanks for listening. To all you traders and investors, if you find the content of this podcast useful, be sure to leave a like or comment below to send us your support. Really appreciate it. And before you go, none of the information presented in this podcast can be taken as financial advice. Please always do your own research and invest responsibly. And I'll see you guys soon.